Hi, this is Randy from Friday's Golf, and welcome to Over Easy. Now, this week's episode is going to be a brief one, but there are a couple things I want to share with you guys. First of which being, I got a new camera. Now, the camera I decided on was the Panasonic Lumix GH4. The reason I decided to purchase this camera is because I feel like it really represented the best of both worlds for me. First, it's lightweight and portable. I can take this camera anywhere with me, and it's not really hard to hold for any length of time. You know, obviously, when you're carrying it out on the course, you're lugging around a tripod and this on top of it. You don't want like a three or four pound camera because after a while, it's going to get tiring. So it's nice, it's compact, and secondly, it brings a certain level of professionalism to the channel. Finally, I can offer some cinematic footage that will kind of raise the bar as far as the content I've been creating in the past. Now the camera does shoot in 4K, so I brought it out to my parents' house where I am right now, and my dad and I went out on Beverly's Hills and we shot some sample footage of like a course vlog, and that way you can watch that video when I upload it to full 4K, because obviously right now I am on my cell phone, but I do want to give you guys an idea of what this camera looks like, so let's go ahead and switch over. <clears throat> what do you think? Note to future Randy, while you're editing this, uh, make sure you jump cut the snaps there, otherwise you're gonna make me look like an idiot. And don't forget, so this is it. As I mentioned, the camera does shoot in full 4K, although this is not shot in 4K, this is 1080, and that's because I wanted the footage to be comparable side by side between my cell phone and the new camera. That way I can make a comparison between the two, but don't worry, the vlog that my dad and I shot, I am gonna upload in full 4K, and then you can check out what this camera is completely capable of. Now another important fact in buying this camera is I, much like you guys, are the same way when it comes to buying golf equipment because I'm usually on a budget and I don't want to spend a lot of money on it, so what I'll do is I'll wait until a newer version comes out and then I'll buy the version that went on sale because a lot of times there's minimal differences between the two and you can get just as good a quality out of the last year's model as you can the newer one. So that's what I did in this case. Obviously, there's a GH5 version out, which they've made improvements on, but I was like, you know what? This GH4 still does a lot more than what my cell phone does. So I think I'm gonna go this route. So there is some validity in kind of waiting until the new equipment comes out and then purchasing last year's model. Obviously with golf equipment, there's some restrictions because uh, you are limited on some of the custom options you can make but when it comes to camera equipment, it's a no-brainer. The next thing I wanted to do was thank everyone who shared the P790 Golf Shop video because that thing went from having 5,000 views on it after 24 hours to now I think it has well over 30,000 views, and it's all because of you guys. I saw that GolfWorks picked it up and put it on their front page. My Golf Spy did the same, and then uh, Peter Finch gave me a huge shout out on his channel, which I always appreciate, and I will never understand why he does it, but I am very grateful for it. Last order of business, I told you guys it was gonna be a short episode. I am going to do a what's in the bag video for 2017. I know it's late in the season, but I just feel like I finally got a foothold on what's going to be in my bag, at least until 2018. Uh, I'm sorry it took so long, but it was a hard process as far as the decisions that had to be made, especially in the driver portion, because I was just going back and forth. If you guys watched uh, my OGO silencer bag review, I actually had two drivers in that bag because I still hadn't made my mind up at that point. But I feel like I have everything in place now. I want to go ahead and make that video and it will be coming soon. And I'll probably do an ace what's in the bag just because you guys keep bothering me about it. <laughs> That's pretty much it right now, so thank you guys as always for all your support. Thanks for watching, thumbs up the video, subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions or comments or really any suggestions on future Over Easy episodes, please let me know down below. I always check out the comments. I try to get back to you guys as soon as I possibly can. But until next time, I will see you guys later. What do you think?